Get to work, boy. Faster. People need their boxes right now. They need their bricks. Oh, look how nicely packed it is. Look at those boxes. Brick me up, Scotty. That's why we need staff. You are hired. Ooh Thank you guys for ordering from our site. Welcome back to Bring Me Up, Scotty. I'm Mini Sam. All right, everybody. Give a round of applause to Mini Sam, our newest member of the team, to BrickMeUpScotty.com. All because of you guys, the store is slowly expanding. So we brought him on. He is helping us right now. In fact, he's over there sitting like a slave. No, I'm just kidding, man. He's a great friend. He's gonna help us update the store for you guys. We're gonna add some new products in. Mini, your job is to add all those products. Hurry up, man. I'm just watching him concentrate so hard on the computer. Good job, Mini Sam. All right, you guys, so today is your store update. A little bit of an unboxing and a fan mail. Another one just arrived. I was quite surprised to see this here. So while Mini Sam is working on BrickMeUpScotty.com, he's also gonna be helping with the shipping and the packaging. He's gonna help ease the workload off Ida because we're getting a lot of orders coming in and I am so thankful for that. And you know, we are literally a mom and pop store. We're just trying to do this for you guys because you guys wanna buy from us. If we do find the price that is cheaper somewhere else or from a closer location to you, just go for it, it's okay. We can't really control too much, you know. We have to order in bulk, and then we have to get it to the office, and then we have to package it, mail it, and we have to use a service. So you're basically paying for like a little bit of extra service if you think the price is too much. And then of course, we can't control the shipping. We're coming up with different ideas on how to separate certain ways to get the bricks to you quicker. But you guys in Europe, I love you guys, man, especially like Germany. Belgium, Denmark, you're all awesome, but boy, your customs are so strict, man. And we're still trying to figure out ways to avoid that or figure it out because, you know, these are alternative brands. And of course, sometimes they get stuck in customs or something happens. It's quite complicated and that is totally out of our control. We don't know. We're trying to make it up to you guys and trying to help out by doing things different ways. So I hope that we can get that down. And on that side, you got like handling fees, you got maybe taxes. I think that's also happening in Canada. We apologize for that. I mean, there's nothing we can really do about it. I wish I could help you out somehow with that. There are other sites out there. I think they're really easy to find where they have warehouses in that location and they can get it to you guys right away. I hope in the future we can do that. But in order for us to do something like that, we'd have to get a warehouse over there and we'd have to ship by containers on a big boat. Those containers, you know how much we had to fill up in a container? That would cost a lot of money. So if you have any suggestions as well, let me know in the comment what you think or your experiences. I'd love to know too. You know, we're trying to see what the best way is. So as you know, as a thank you gift for ordering from us, I'm always throwing little free gifts into your boxes. That's little figures or little mini sets. And you know, you got these, these are halfway gone. These are red pockets from Lego. So I'm putting these in your boxes. And also these just came in and these are little miniature cities. Can you guys see that? Yeah. Thank you, Nathan, for pointing these out that we can start giving these as free gifts if you order from the store. Minus the egg, you know, we gotta cut down on shipping costs on this stuff, you know? But that's free. Free, yo, if you order from us. Yeah, thank you. All right, let's open the one and only fan mail. Here we go. Woohoo! And this one was a, quite a surprise. You know, I'm gonna turn on the slow mo camera. Let's get some slow mo in here, yeah? So this is from Hazel. Another subscriber who is always commenting and joining in on the community. Can't believe you sent me a birthday gift. It says, happy late birthday. I'm just gonna use my fingers. Ah, that's much easier. Here we go. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Happy birthday. That is so cool. It's wrapped up in here. Look at that. We gotta do some slow-mo like that. Have this floating like this. Put this around my neck. All right. <gasps> Ooh, it's a nano block, nano block, yes. Oh, how cool is that? It is an electric guitar in ivory. Mini Sam, go build this thing. Look, he's still working over there. He's not even looking at me. There you are. Build this guitar for me later, okay? okay. Hazel, thank you so much. Yeah, we're gonna do this in another video. I think it's time for me to do a nano block video, finally. It is unboxing time. We have some new products in here. While all y'all are opening your Flintstones and Mustangs and San Francisco Lego sets, we're gonna do some random stuff. You ready for this? First one's up. Boom. 
I thought the Chinese New Year stuff was over. Well, it kind of is, but this one is related to China. Remember when you're cutting, cut away from yourself. Don't cut in like me. Oh, this is a nice box, man. All right, what is it? What is this monstrosity? Come on, pull it down. Oh, I broke my hand off. It's okay, it goes right back in here. Damaged the box though. No, it's not worth anything anymore. Oh no. Okay, here we go. Aha. Look at that. This is the first time I'm seeing a new pop-up book. Yeah? Oh no, but it's China. So Mini Sam just confirmed that this is the Beijing in the square, which is Tiananmen, Tiananmen Square? Tiananmen Square? There it is, the temple. Yeah, look at the box, is actually pretty big, man. Shall we open the box together? Yeah? Okay, let's do this. And by the way, this is from a brand I've never heard of before. Have you guys heard of them? Yeah, no? Okay, let's unbox this. Open, open. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It's not coming out, man. Oh, it's in like boxes like that. Okay, I see. That. Okay, here's the box before I move it away. You got the front there, it looks very nice. It has a nice design there on the side. Yeah, flip it to the back here. There you go. You got the figures. Oh my goodness, look at them. Are you serious? They're micro figures, but they look naked. <laughs> naked micro figures. Okay, let's put this aside. Here we go, what's in this one? Oh, no, no, not like this. You guys did it wrong, man. It's, they did the book already. <laughs> no, I wanted a Lego book, not a cassette. This is like a cassette thing, man. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Got the stickers there, there's the stickers. That is hilarious, I'm having a good laugh at this right now. Oh, this is a sticker too. I don't know why you would have this as a sticker. That's interesting. <laughs> interesting, it actually says interesting building block. But why did you do it like this? I have been cheated out of this. But we're gonna see if the Lego pop-up part of it will fit in a Lego book. Pop-up book, nothing in there. Here we go, you ready? Slow motion time? Slow motion time. Yeah, I get rid of that. Oh, the figures look kind of weird. Oh, there's the naked one. And naked. No, it's in like a bikini, but why is it like that? That's really weird. Okay, we're gonna have to do this for the review. There's not that many bricks, to be honest. Look. Some browns in there. You got some greens, some yellows. And look, you can probably fit the whole thing in here so we can stack these away. Let them in. No, it doesn't fit, but you know. Put this to the side there. And we have the manual. There's the manual. There's another brand logo on here and it says DIY DOK. Die Dok. Die Dok. We're gonna have to see how this turns out, but man, I'm already disappointed that it's like in this kind of a cassette thing. Dang it. Oh well. This one I think came out a couple weeks ago. I haven't run to it yet. Du -du -du. Let's see, try this open. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, what's that? Robot. Robot 8 and 1. Oh, this is from Panlos, our favorite friends, Panlos. And it's called Robot. Look familiar to you guys? Oh no, it's not infringing. It looks like a more than meets the eye kind of thing. Oh no. Oh no, look at the stickers. Oh, we're in trouble now. I wonder how this one's gonna be. Let's see. Oh, it's all blues and reds. Look at all that. Well, this one would be an interesting build. I wonder which one holds it better. This set or the Pacific Rim Bot? Hmm. I guess we're gonna have to put this on the store and see what happens. Mini Sam's gonna clean up my floor after this, right? 
Oh, this is from Zingbao. It's actually older. I don't know why I haven't put it on the store, but we had to put it up soon. It will go up. And if you're a huge gamer or fan of gaming, then you should know these guys. Yeah, it's a cute dragon. So here you go. This is cute dragon. Here, watch. Mini Sam, do you know the name of this game? Uh, Bubble Dragon. Yeah, pretty close enough, right? This is Bubble Bubble in Japan, and it's Puzzle Bubble in the US. Or bust a move. Come on, you guys don't remember this game? It's that really old game where it's like, but yeah, look at that. Oh no, it's our best friends, Amador and Ramon. They built this set. I sure hope it wasn't stolen from them. They even have their autograph on there. You get a signed autograph booklet and you buy this from us. Last one, okay? Last one for today, guys. Oh, look at that. Nice big box. Can you guess what it is already? Oh, I don't want to damage the box. Here we go. Oh, mech. I see it's a mech. Oh, it's just ultra. Man. Oh, listen to that sound. There we go. Ultraman. This is from Panlos. Is this legit? And yeah, look at that. They got these three sets also available soon or now. I'm not sure. But you know what? You know what I like about this one? I just, I just want it for the bridge. I'm not interested in Ultraman. My brother is, he bought the set by the way. So I'm gonna build this one too and review it for you guys pretty soon. Let's open it up. It's like King of Monsters, remember that game? Neo Geo, anyone? Look, I like, I like this part. You go like that. Thank you very much. Yeah. Did the box really need to be this big, man? I don't think so. We're gonna dump it out like this. Ooh, don't lose the stickers, guys. Here we go. All right, look at that. There's the booknet. Ultraman! And look, they got tons of sets on here. Look at that, that's all the sets. I'll put this in slow motion so you guys can see it there and order yours. Yeah, I think this is the biggest one that I just picked up. It's bigger. It's always better. I keep telling you guys. Look at all this. Oh, let's drop the manual there. Look at this. Lots of reds. We got some browns. Got a little sticker on here. I'm sure I'm gonna lose it because I'm doing this video. What else you got? You got a little head right there. There's Ultraman's head. Got another head there. That's enough for the day. It's time to get to work. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Give me some requests for what to build. There's actually a lot more down there that I haven't picked up yet. I got the Panlos tanks. Someone asked me to do that. And I got a, a bunch of other stuff. I'm getting hot in here. There's another slow-mo camera running. So I'm gonna get out of here and start cutting the other videos. All right, you guys. So until next time, bring me out. Seriously, you guys, if you look at this right now, that Ultraman box, all the pieces fit in this. And sometimes you wonder why we don't send the boxes, because man, you can just cut a lot on shipping if we don't ship with the boxes. Just send it like that. So that big thing, man, that thing will cost three times the amount. What a waste of paper. Save the environment. Order without the box.